Hi, everybody. Welcome back. Hope you had a good day today. It was a good day for me. School, blah, blah. It was rainy and cold today, though. Fall's pretty much here now. I'm going to be odd, nice day every now and then. But from now on, it's going to get chillier and chillier. So I went with something a little heavy today because it was a little, little cold, rainy day. And I went with, I don't even know if I've, I know I've talked about it. I don't think I've done a day with it yet. So we're going to do a day with it. Monarch Red Tobacco Bunny. A uh, dupe of Mansara Red Tobacco, I believe, or uh, Montal. I can't remember the, the same thing, really. Um, I haven't smelled that one yet. So just a review on its own. Although I will say the Montal and Manseras that I have smelled has only been three or four over the years. Um, I haven't bought, not because of the price either. Actually, relatively cheap for a niche. You can get them for generally about $100 or under on, on discounters. I don't like the oud they use. The oud they always seem, at least the few I've smelled, and I haven't smelled not even half of them. So, I mean, just the ones I smelled have been uh, pretty, pretty potent oud, pretty, pretty funky. And uh, this kind of has that too, but I'll get into it. Um, so, yeah, that's so... Uh, I can't compare it to the, the other one, so you guys who have both of them or have tried both of them, let me know. Is it a good dupe? Because I know it's a good cologne. I know I kind of started out bad by saying that boot thing, but I'll get into it. Um, how did I apply it? I knew it was strong, very strong. So two in my moisturizer, one, two, shirt on, uh, one on my shirt. Um, and about an hour ago, I sprayed one here to kind of refresh. Um performance really good for for a twenty dollar i think i got it for 15 because it was open i could be wrong but yeah really good for twenty dollars my goodness um it's it's it, it's about eight hours um a little more to tell you the truth it's kind of a skin scent for another a light skin scent on top of that around the nine hour mark so i'm mean, not bad at all um projection pretty much almost beast i'm not joking for it projects for about three hours and it's out there four or five feet for about an hour and then it comes in for a couple hours what an arm's length then it takes another hour or so to come in and it gives you this nice bubble of a foot foot and a half for a few hours and then it kind of slowly comes in again and you know, over the next few hours until it's a nice detectable skin scent um and then the last hour or so, like I said, then about the nine hour mark, it's, it's a pretty light skin scent. I'd reapply then. Um, but yeah, I love when I get cheap scents that smell good and perform good. Uh, I really do like it. Um, and this is one of them. Now, let's get into the smell. That oud I mentioned first. I don't like the first 10 or 15 minutes of this. Um, and this is a classic example of don't judge something right away. Give it, give it, give it 15, 20 minutes, half hour, an hour, whatever. Um, cause it takes about 15 or 20 minutes before a, it's got this funky oud in it. Um, a synthetic oud too. At first it, it smells pretty synthetic and not fecal or anything like that. Just, just funky, a little too of that funky oud aspect and the tobacco in this gives me a kind of a. And for the first, like I said, 15 or 20 minutes with that oud, uh, an ashy, not very, like a burny, ashy, almost a cigarette vibe, which is not very pleasant in a fragrance. Tobacco's nice, but that kind of, but like I said, after 15 or 20 minutes, that all kind of almost does a 180, almost immediately too. It's almost right on the dot, right? 20 minutes in, boom, completely changes. Still a heavy tobacco scent. <laughs> and the oud is still there, but the oud loses most of its funkiness. It's a tiny bit there, but I, that's all right. Um, and it's this nice oud, woody uh, tobacco. And this sweetness comes out. I'm assuming vanilla, but also some fruit. I didn't look up the notes, so... Because it's got, again, a, a very cherry-esque cigar pipe tobacco vibe to it with that oud. And some spice comes out, some nice... You know, I'm guessing cardamom and, and clove and nutmeg. You know, the basic licorice spice. And um, and that kind of stays for hours and hours and hours. That's the scent for hours and hours and hours. And then towards the base, a little bit more 
of a must comes out, but there's still always, like I said, I'm going on the 10 hour mark. Last night, right here. No, there it is. Yeah, I'm going on the 10 hour mark. And it still smells tobacco y. It's very light now, but it still smells like that sweet, oody tobacco, just with a bit more musk coming out. Um, but very light now. So I say after eight, nine hours, bang, a couple more sprays, all you need all day. Um, yes, I mean, so what's it smell like? It's a tobacco scent. It's a woody tobacco. It's a sweet, woody tobacco, spicy scent. Bang. But this has a nostalgia vibe to me because, not because I have the cologne. My grandfather, he had an old station wagon. For, and we were, this was the 80s. And I'm sure the station wagon was from the 70s. Um, with the wood panel and everything. It was, it was, it was gorgeous, actually. You just sit back and think about it. I don't know what make, model. I have no idea. But it was a... <laughs> you know, look, when I was a kid, I thought it was like, oh, yeah, station wagon. Now I fucking pay through the roof for it because it's old school nostalgic cool <laughs> you know retro um but yeah and i always remember getting in the that station wagon sitting in the back and he smoked it was the 80s he smoked in his vehicle um and he always smoked a pipe or a cigar uh one of the cherry we call them coals here i think you guys call them in the states uh like Swisher Sweets and stuff like that. Um, so yeah, it, it smells like that sweet pipe tobacco and it reminds me of my grandfather's car and, and the, the air freshener that he used in the car mixed with that pipe. It was just, it was gorgeous. Um, I've always loved that smell. It, it hits me right in the feels. Uh, this hits me right in the feels. I love this. Um, I didn't think I would, like I said, when I first got it, my first impression was like, oh God, geez, smells like, Somebody put a cigarette out on a Oudwood ashtray or something. Yeah, but no, uh, really develops. Takes like I said, 15, 20 minutes. So give it 15, 20 minutes if you're going to buy it. It performs great, smells great. Uh, compliment factor. I got a compliment day. I went down to Winners to check to see if they had any more of this because I was going to buy another bottle. Uh, but they only get it very randomly. But I'm standing there and there's a couple girls, um, you know. Women, I shouldn't say girls, I mean, 30s, 40s, whatever, 50s. I didn't really look that hard to try to figure out. But I'm sitting there smelling the clones, and she's looking at a few of them, and she's saying to a friend, I don't know, no, 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 no. and her friend goes, excuse me, what's that one you're wearing? And I'm like, oh, well, it's, uh, told her what it was, and it was a dupe up. She goes, I really like that. Where'd you get it? I said, well, I got it here. <laughs> I said, but I, I, I've only found it once. I said, and, uh, you know, and I would have been nice if they had had one and she wanted it. I would have let her have it. I'm not greedy. Um, but I said, well, I said, just come down. I don't know. They'll never. And I said, don't even bother asking. They don't know what they get in. They just get it in. I said, check here and check over at uh, Marshall's too because they get them in sometimes. And uh, she actually wrote it down. A little person wrote it down. So it's a compliment getter. Um, like I said, it's just this. At the end of the day, like I said, guys, sweet tobacco, oody woody, spicy scent with a nice vanilla too. I, I I don't think if I said that or not. It does have a nice vanilla, and it's got a smoky aspect for a while too. Not not heavy smoke, but there is a bit of an incense there. So very nice scent, guys. Uh, give it a try if you can get it. Um, I've seen they're selling online for like sixty, seventy, eighty dollars on eBay. Go to Frag Buy. You can get the original. Montal for like a hundred bucks. Don't spend 60, 70, or 80 on this. 20, 30, even $40 half price, what you can get the Montal for. But after any more than $40, just go get the Montal. Um, but, uh, well, I shouldn't say that 40 to 100, that's still 60 bucks. But I mean, at 60, 70 that they're asking for this, like, that's ridiculous. Yeah. So, but anyway, you decide what you want to do. But I wouldn't pay any more than $40 for it. That, that would be me. I'd get the original Montal at that point. But, uh, yeah, guys, all right, that's it. Sweet and simple. Yeah, really good day today. Really good day. Give it a try if you can. I, 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 if you like tobacco, booty, tobacco, sweet kind of spicy scents, you'll love this one. Uh, peace, love, be good to each other, and be good to yourselves.